The 2015 season for Cumberland Gap could be one to forget as they went winless for the first time in school history. But this year has already started out different as for the first time since 2006, Delenn Klein will be back on the sidelines. And Coach Klein told us it's been different coming back 10 years later, but practice has been going good. A lot of new faces, you know, young kids, and you never know how they're going to react to it, especially when you get to pad zone and it's 95 degrees. And, uh, but they've reacted well. And, uh, you know, talking about it as coaches, the good news is it's got better as we went week to week. And that don't always happen in summer practice, um, but, but they have really done a good job. Klein is still the athletic director at Cumberland Gap, and the transition back to head coach was something he had to adjust to. You know, I think you know, it's, it's easy to be a head coach watching. And then you forget all of the things that went with it. Football's fun, you know, football's fun. Uh, but trying to remember all the other things that go with it. It's been an adjustment, but you know, when I first decided to do this, I didn't know, you know, I've been out for 10 years and you know, you, you've got questions, you know, the game has changed, kids have changed, whatever, but I have had a blast and I, I, it's gotten funner as it's went, and I think part of it is we got a great group. You know, they've they struggled for a few years, and they really, really want to get better, and I think that's made it fun for me. The Panthers will once again play in Class 2A this year, and with that comes the problems of not having a lot of players on the team. But this team is still looking at this season as a building block. I think it's went well. You know, they've responded well, worked hard in the weight room. You know, what little time I had them in the weight room. And everything we've asked, you know, they've not, uh, not hesitated. They, they've worked hard, you know, no questions asked, just go work. And so I think they've responded well. The Panthers have went through some trying times the past two seasons, but this year is a clean slate, and it gets started August 26th at home against Hancock County. Reporting for LMU Community TV News, I'm Brandon Burke.